given alpha equals 28 degrees, beta equals 66 degrees, and C equals 8.2, solve the triangle. Well, it says I'm going to solve a triangle, so the very first thing that I want to do is I'm going to actually draw a triangle. Now, what have we learned about this triangle? Well, we have angles that are alpha, beta, and gamma. And if you remember, across from the alpha angle is the A side, across from the beta is the B, and the gamma is C. So I can already label my sides of my triangle. Now, what do I know? Well, I know that alpha is 28, so I'm going to go ahead and pencil that in. And I know that beta is 66, and that C is 8.2. Well, when I look at that, that gives me an angle, side, angle. So remember, you need to determine if it's angle, side, angle, side, 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 angle, side. And so if it's angle, side, angle, we have a formula for that. And it says that A over the sine of alpha equals B over the sine of beta equals C over the sine gamma. So now what am I going to do? So from this formula, what can I do? Well, I know that alpha plus beta plus gamma equals 180, because we learned that a long time ago that the inside of a triangle adds up to 180, so I can actually find what gamma is. So if I enter 28 plus 66 plus gamma equals 180, I'm going to get 94 plus gamma equals 180, so then gamma is just going to equal to 86. Now that's one thing I have to find because I'm going to solve the triangle. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that in pink so we don't lose it. Now what else do I need to find? Well, I need to find my other two sides. That's what I don't have. So I'm going to use the equation that we talked about at the beginning. And I can say that I've got the C side, so I've got 8.2 divided by the sine of gamma. Well, we just found gamma over there. It's 86. And then that's going to equal to A over the sine of 28. And the other one that I can do is I can do it again with the C side and the sine of 86 and now I can find B. So it's B over the sine of beta which is 66. So what I need to do is I need to solve each one of these. Remember what you're going to do and how you're going to do it is you need to cross multiply and set equal. So what I want you to do is I want you to do those steps, pause the video, then come back and check your answers. Welcome back. Hopefully these are the values you got for A and B. Now if you didn't, make sure that when you did this calculation on your calculator, you originally had it in degrees because degrees were provided to you in the actual problem. So I found A and I also found B, which are the only remaining parts that I needed to solve the triangle.